Good evening, everybody. It's Bell Week as Pueblo Central and Pueblo Centennial will meet up on the gridiron in one of the nation's longest high school football rivalries. Now, the last two years, the bell has rung blue. Danny Mata caught up with both teams and he had a little fun while he was out with the fellas. It's that time of year again. The longest running rivalry west of the Mississippi. It's the week of the Bell game. Central is looking to take the Bell for the third straight year. Centennial is out to snap that streak. Oh, it's big. I mean, last couple of years, we just kind of fell apart and we let them get into our head. But I feel like this year, there's a big change and I feel like we can get it back. Oh, it's an important thing to keep that Bell on this side. I mean, my freshman year, we ended up losing the Bell. That was a sad thing, so I don't want to go through that. So talking to the players from Centennial and Central, I was hoping that I'd start hearing some big time trash talk, but all the guys want to talk about was respecting their opponents and respecting the game. So you know what? Fine. If they don't want to talk trash, I'll do it for them. So I gave them a hat with some pre-written smack talk on some loose pieces of paper. The players drew and off we went. We should change the name of the Wildcats field to the litter box because they're going to stink it up. Bulldogs are good at chasing their own tails, burying things in the backyard, and licking their own butts, but they're not good at beating Pueblo Central. I'm going to count the number of points Central is going to score this week. Ready? The color red is lame. My friend once wore red. I shoved him in his locker. <laughs> I hate the color blue. I would never be a Scientologist. If I had a dollar for every game Centennial was going to lose this week, I'd have one dollar. That's more like it. Danny Mata, KRDO News Channel 13 Sports.